chicken dance. Yes, we've been married for 43 years. Wow. And we go around and we play and it's just a living place. It's in memory units. My wife is an Alzheimer's patient, so I try to keep her up as much as, okay. as long as I can. Because yeah. music is the last thing to leave. Oh, okay. Right, let's see. Let's see. Let me call you sweetheart. I'm in love with you. <laughs> Thank you. Let really me good. hear you whisper that you love me too. <laughs> Can I put you on? I used to, yeah, I used to play the card game. Back in 55. Do you need some help, Ed? Do you want me to carry this for you? Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, she started a trend. I'm going to tip you too. That is so cool. Wild Bill. Wild Bill. And you live in this area? Uh, we live in Tokerville right now. We have a house in Tokerville. We're also from Indiana. Okay. So I come out here in the winter time and enjoy the sun and the, and the people. And and we entertain, and we do all kinds of fun things. She wanted to sit in there and watch the machines go around. I'd, the washing machines go round and round, round and round, round and round. The washing machines go round and round, all day long. Round and round, 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 round so I'm not gonna, you're not gonna put me on CBS News or anything. No, no just my YouTube channel. Wild Bill. Wild How, Bill. Is there a way that people can contact you? Uh, why would they want to contact I, I, me? If they want you to play for them in Utah. I was looking for a mandolin player. If anyone out there is a mandolin player, I would love to do. This is the night, it's a beautiful night, and they call it Bellator. <laughs> Just like back in the day when they used to send the discs? I have no idea. I, I used to do that. But that's all, folks. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank it was you. nice meeting nice you. Meeting you. I love those, what you're doing with your wife I'm and one everything. Of those unique ones. Yes, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Who's the leader of the club? The man for you and me.
Because we love you. Oh my goodness, what a day. What a day. I woke up in the Walmart parking lot. I wanted to shower today and then I pulled up and I'm like, I don't really want to go in there. And so then I turned and I went to Walmart, got some food. Then I plugged in my address for my next destination in Escalante. And I said, okay, if I drive by the Anytime Fitness, I will stop and shower. So I drove by the Anytime Fitness. It took me by there. So I stopped and showered. Then I decided I'm going to do my laundry. Laundry need a fold. And so I stopped off at this laundromat that I've been to before last year. It's very, very nice. And I saw Ed. I saw Ed from Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Super, super, super nice guy. I was like, hey, Ed. He turned around right away, put his hand out, shook his hand. And uh, I noticed that Matt in his videos talks loud to Ed. So I was trying to make sure and talk really, really loud. I hope he doesn't think I'm crazy, but he was so nice. And then I was just so hyped up, just like I was when I met Matt and Paul last year that I was like, hey, can I bring my car around and show you my car? And so he's like, oh, yeah, I have a friend that has the, you know, the roof. He thought it was a roof tent. And then I put up the panels and he's like, wow, that's really cool. And just such a nice guy. But he's um, he broke his neck recently and uh, he has to wear that brace 24 hours a day. And so then I noticed the guy with the suspenders on that are a piano and it reminded me of this bracelet that I made for my mom that looks like a piano. And I was like, do you play? And he's like, yeah, and I play the accordion too. And he just, I have it here. And he popped up, got it out of his car and started playing. And I was doing the chicken dance with his wife. And what a great, great guy. Um, his wife has, um, has had Alzheimer's for eight years, he said and music is the last thing to go and they just travel around and it's very touching and then he's like well hey we just live in tokerville do you want to come and i'll play the piano for you and i'm like i said i would not i i thought to myself like i would never do these things but i got his address i sent it to my sister i said you're sure you're not an axe murderer right um he says he's not but we're just gonna go there and Ed was even like, hey, stop by the yard tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah. I was just going to head to Escalante because I don't want to be annoying if they're busy. But I can say, hey, Ed told me to stop by. Just like the, the guy last year in the restaurant who went to school with Paul. Ed told me to. So my plans have changed a bit. So I'll, I will be sleeping in the hurricane area. And then I will, maybe I will go and see Matt and then head to Escalante after that. Like, who knows where the, the wind will take you. I didn't even plan on filming today. And uh, when Wild Bill was playing his harmonica, or harmonica, uh, what the heck is that? Whatever it was, it slips my mind. Um, Ed came walking out and he's like, I used to play this or I can play this. And I was like, can I put you on, you know, cause I, I didn't want to be intrusive with Ed right away. And he's like, oh yeah. So that's when I got Ed in the video and super, super nice. Like what a great guy, super friendly. He says, I asked him if people meet him, see him all the time. And then he's like, oh yeah, all the time, everywhere I go. And He's pretty used to it. But anyway, we're going to go to Wild Bill's house. Um, if I don't show up, my sister knows where I am. And we're going to go from there. So stay tuned. <laughs> Lila, you're being serenaded. Do you know any Elvis or anything? Come on, Paula. Oh, yeah. Come to a party in the camp. <laughs> 
county jail. <laughs> the band was there and they began to wail. Jump was jumping and the place began to swing. Should have heard the lockdown jail. <laughs> Blowing on the slide trombone. Some were born from Illinois and crashed, boom, bam. Old purple was a rock. Everybody has a rock. Everybody has a rock. Number 47 said the number three. You're the cutest jailbird I ever did see. Sure would appreciate your company if you come to do the jailhouse run. Wild Bill, when I was leaving, he said, well, I should really call myself Mild Bill these days. <laughs> but anyway, it was something that I would never normally do. If you've been my viewer, you would know. And I'm like, eee. but I am branching out and he seemed harmless enough. Like I said, I gave him the address to my sister and all is well. I uh, he, he played the piano, his keyboard, and he played the why do I keep accordion? <laughs> Even Paula had to remind me what the what the thing was. I keep wanting to call it a harmonica. It almost sounds like it could be, but anyway, it was just so sweet. He Bill plays the piano. He's he's the best at that. And he's also learning the guitar, and he plays the trumpet, and he plays in a band, New Horizons band out of Indianapolis. And it was so sweet because Paula gets involved, and she has Alzheimer's, and she's had it for eight years now. And it was evident, but just the sweetest, sweetest person, and she would just get up there and sing with her husband playing the keyboard and it was it was just beautiful <sighs> okay I'm not gonna do this it was <sighs> okay so we're not gonna freaking cry stop it it was just so touching to see the look that she would give him. Just, he is her world. And he really is. And at one point he was up playing the accordion and she leaned over to me and she's like, he has the most beautiful blue eyes. And I was, and that's what I noticed about him too. Just so sweet. And it just, you know, life is, is very, very precious. And he showed me this beautiful picture of them. They went to a beach and she was sitting on the beach and it, they were watching the sunset. And he took a picture of her looking at the sunset and it was he related it to her with the sun setting with her and there were so many times that I had to keep from crying in there because death is so I mean death is very in our face for everybody but um the older you get the the more real it gets, I guess. 
um, and he had talked about how he's writing their, they're writing their obituaries, and I asked him how he is doing as a caretaker of a wife with Alzheimer's of eight years, and he said that he's, you know, he's doing the best he can. He's in a support group. And it's challenging because even with the support group, and I hope Bill's fine with sharing all this, but, you know, it's it's putting it out there about Alzheimer's and that those caregivers need support themselves. And he said that, um, gosh, I'm such a crybaby. He said that, the people, the caregivers who are in this support group, when their spouse dies, they don't show up anymore. And for Bill, he's like, what do I do? You know, when she's no longer here, what do I do then? And he doesn't, he doesn't know because the people who are never, are no longer needing to take care of that spouse they leave. So how do you handle that when it's been such a huge part of your life? And as the disease progresses, you, you know, you have to be reminded to eat. And he shared some of the things that, um, he does with taking care of her, but just really beautiful people. And it was so touching because he takes such good care of her and gives her the fullest life that he can while she's here and uh, watches over her. And it was a really nice experience to be able to share that with them and, and to meet him and, um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed his musical instruments. It, it was such a good time. It was a really good time. And, you know, it just goes to show, like, the, the experiences that you have and the people you meet when you're out there living life, whether it be on the road or elsewhere. Um it's nice to hear other people's story. So thank you again, Bill and Paula for having me over and sharing some of you with me. And I had a lovely time. Thank you for the cream soda. And, um, so I don't mean to be a big crybaby, but that's just what I am. I'm very, I am a rock on the outside, but deep down, there's just things that really touch me and move me. And, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative that Bill was open and, and shared that part of life with me. So, um, yeah, I, uh, after I left there, I was going to share something. After I left there, I wanted to get gas and didn't really was thinking about what Ed said and hey, come by the shop tomorrow and <laughs> I watched a uh, the their Christmas party, Matt's Off-Road Recovery, their Christmas party they have and he was introducing one of the employees who works the front office and she she's like he's like if you've ever come by the shop, you'll, you will have run into, and I'm sorry, I can't remember her name, but you will have run into her first and she doesn't let you, doesn't let you get by. So when Ed is like, oh yeah, just come by, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of that. Um, but I might, I, I'm really hesitant whether, you know, I just don't want to intrude just like the last time, but I did intrude and, um, just really good people. And I guess if you're going to be in the Hurricane, Utah area, you, you'll probably run into somebody from Matt's Off-Road Recovery. So Ed's the nicest, nicest guy. And 
it's been an overall great day. I didn't expect to film anything today, but, um, yeah, we'll see if I get up the nerve. I mean, I do have the nerve, but if I get up the nerve to go say hello, uh, tomorrow, I'm just so hesitant, you know, cause they're busy. They, they have the record games coming up and I'm going to go to that. I'm going to be at the record games next month. Really looking forward to it. Super exciting. And, um, so anyway, uh, unexpected video, but I had a wonderful day and just met some really nice people and had good experiences. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope that you'll stay tuned for future videos and yeah, I am going to, um, get this video posted. So I am going to call it a night and we'll see about tomorrow. Stay tuned. Will I go to the shop? I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, and I will see you in my next one. Thank you. And thank you to the truck who didn't shut his lights off. Thank you very much to the truck who gave me great lighting. I mean, with the headlights. Totally appreciate it. Okay. All right. That's it. That's it. Signing off.